Hey, Joe Alden, MD here. And I'm Amy Alton, ARNP. Our focus is disaster, epidemics, and first aid preparedness. We want you to know what to do in situations where medical help may not be available for the short term or even the long haul. One of the ways we offer this information is through our videos. If you like our videos, we hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 900 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of The Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, plus the designer of Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family blog as a teaching preparedness resource. Allergies are reactions caused by a hypersensitivity of the immune system to a substance ingested or in the environment. We call that an allergen. These substances may cause little or no effect in most people, but a percentage of the population may experience serious symptoms that can affect quality of life or even threaten life itself. If you told a doctor a little more than 100 years ago that you had some kind of allergy, he or she wouldn't recognize the word. Allergy was coined in 1906 by an Austrian pediatrician and immunologist named Clemens von Perquet. The word is derived from the Greek allos, meaning others, and ergon, meaning reaction. Von Perquet and his associates noted that certain people who received a variety of smallpox vaccine had more severe reactions than most. Another scientist, Charles Mantoux, used this knowledge to develop a test for tuberculosis, where an allergic skin reaction to a substance isolated from the microbe revealed a previous exposure. A form of this test is still used today. The worst allergic reaction, known as anaphylactic shock, was discovered by a French physiologist, Charles Richet, who, along with his partner, Dr. Paul Portier, injected the venom of a sea anemone into a number of dogs, hoping to find some substance that would protect humans, called prophylaxis, from jellyfish stings. They instead found that a second injection killed many of the dogs. Since this was the opposite of protection, they termed it antiphylaxis or anaphylaxis. Now, common allergens to which people are exposed include pollens, metals, insect stings, medications, and certain foods. There are also internal factors such as age, sex, race, and family history. Now, how do all of these combine to cause the physical symptoms of an allergy? Put simply, an immune reaction against an allergen occurs when it's encountered for the first time. Let's say it's a bee sting. Cells in the body, called T-cells, identify the bee venom and interact with other cells called B-cells. The B-cells, in turn, produce certain antibodies called IgE. IgE attaches to the surface of cells called basophils and mast cells. These cells are now sensitized to the venom. Now, no physical effects are usually noted at the time by the victim beyond just the sting itself. Now, when a second exposure to the allergen occurs, however, it's a different story. The sensitized mast cells and basophils are activated and produce a large amount of histamine and other inflammatory chemicals. The flood of these into the system can cause possibly severe physical reactions. Allergies may appear in various forms from mild to life-threatening. These conditions include hay fever, food allergies, local skin reactions called atopic dermatitis, drug or toxin reactions, and allergic asthma. Common symptoms include red eyes, itching, nasal congestion, difficulty breathing, and swelling. Now, in the worst situations, a body-wide reaction called anaphylaxis causes rashes, major swelling, and difficulty breathing to the point of suffocation. We'll discuss what to do for anaphylactic shock and other allergy issues in future videos. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. If you have additional advice for us, please feel free to post it in the comments section below. This is Joe Alton, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 
Hey, if you like this video, make an old man, me that is, very happy by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy, following us on Twitter at Prepper Show, and joining our Facebook group pages at Doom and Bloom or Survival Medicine Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. And don't forget, Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits are at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. Fill those holes in your medical storage. Thanks again.